welcome back everybody welcome back and we have power i'm really i really want to get into this <laughs> thing because uh, it's not that interesting holy shit do we do we have all this power over here they're all full all of these batteries are full so that means we have finally started gaining power yeah we have excess power i gotta see kills all the frames it's all those stupid cryogenic stabilizer thingies yeah this thing's working fast as hell it's as fast as it can work technically i'm assuming so they're all all the free chargers seem almost full they're not draining power but they're all right. at ninety one thousand energy so the story you want to jump right into is that I bought moly shoes. <laughs> yes, so we literally get in this conversation, and before we start recording, Gooch just says, so I bought moly shoes today, and I'm like, wait, this this is going somewhere else. We need to <laughs> it's really not It's really not that exciting, uh, uh, otherwise I would have totally been like, oh man, I got I got first episode covered here, we, we got content. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Um, what I was going to tell you was that I got home, and... Um, like so, uh, normally whenever we go, I go bowling. It's like on a different day. It's like on Saturdays, or whatever. And the bowling shop at the bowling alley is not open. Um, but what Jeff, what Jeff was shocked about is that the bowling, like whenever you rent bowling shoes, that's that's like expensive. It's like the expensive thing, at least at my bowling alley, it's more see, expensive I, than the lane. See, I haven't bowled in a very long time. But the last time I bowled, I always thought bowling shoes were like three bucks. No, like for three people to bowl, um, and two games, one of them being a child, it's fifty dollars, and thirty-five of that is shoe rental. That, that crazy. So wait, how, so you bought bowling shoes? How much did you buy them for? Uh, forty-five dollars is what I paid for bowling shoes, and I had looked on Amazon before, but I was I was skeptical about buying shoes on Amazon because I like I wanted to try them on first to make sure they fit. Like, I know my shoe size, but the shoe sizes aren't consistent. You know what I mean by that? Yes. Like, it's just like pant sizes. You can't just order, you know, right. 30s, 630s, 3430s, whatever. They're going to all be different right. based on the brand. So, yeah, I, I wanted to buy buy my bowling shoes in, in person. And so, I happened to go today on a non standard day for going to the bowling alley. And um, so, I bought bowling shoes. And uh, the whole story was I got home, and so when I, when I bought them, the guy, was, the guy didn't know the price. He had to look it up because he said he just bought the, the shop there inside of the bowling alley. Like he, the, I guess the shop had been closed or something. I don't even know what the deal was with that because, um, again, it's never open. Whatever. I've always gone in the past because it's always like a Saturday, and during a the time they're closed. Um, but uh, the one I bought, like they didn't have a whole huge selection or anything. I just bought the cheapest pair of bowling shoes they had because um, it's not like someone I don't bowl a lot or anything. It's just occasionally, like maybe maybe six times a year or or maybe more, but not you know enough that by buying these, if I go bowling three times, I will have paid for them. Kind of thought it was or like three, okay. three or more um, was was how I how I looked at it, at least. <laughs> just fucking dragging on Venus. Um, so, anyways, bought the bowling <laughs> shoes. And uh, got home, and the one, the one, one of the pairs was one of the ones that was like on display. Um, so, so one of the two shoes was on display, and he asked me if I wanted to try the other one on. I tried on one. I was like, "No, nah, I'm good. Don't need to try the other one on. It's you know, shoes a shoe. Um, if one fits the my, my other foot's so you know, similar size." Um, so he was got home and went to take them out to look at them, and the one that was in the box is covered in mold. Wait, you bought shoes that were covered in mold? The one the one I had tried on was not. It was it was the display and I tried it on and then he looked everywhere for the boxes, he finally found it and then threw the other shoe in there. And when I got home, I went to take them out to like take a look at them, see them again, fresh eyes, new lighting, and uh the it was moldy. It's a moldy shoe. That's um um interesting i mean so i'm assuming this man bought all the inventory from yeah yeah I, I i that's the that's kind of the sad part is i don't think he realizes that uh he he bought in moldy inventory so i'm gonna have to go back up there i guess next tuesday because i don't know when else i'll be able to get up there that's a day that they're open 
um, and return my moldy shoes. I was actually just looking on Amazon. Now that I've tried them on, I feel comfortable buying the same pair on Amazon, but they don't actually sell that pair in my size on Amazon, apparently. So I can't can't even do that. Hmm. But yeah, I've never never bought moldy shoes before. I've also never bought moldy <laughs> shoes before. And I will tell you the only pair of bowling shoes I've ever owned in my life is because I was young and stupid and stole them from a bowling alley <laughs> because I didn't want to pay the $3 rental Jesus fee. Jesus Christ. And the sad thing is I guarantee your bowling shoes don't look like those red and brown. Right. No, these are – and, that you know, that's honestly the other big thing is, like, they always spray them down with – fuck if I know, but it stinks, like Lysol from hell or something after everyone turns them in. So, like, every time I do go bowling, I always bring, like, like socks and a Ziploc bag so that uh, I can put on a different pair of socks that will not be going into my shoes after I wear them because I don't want my shoes to smell like the shit they spray inside of the bowling shoes. Well, I always just go barefoot in those things. Mm -hmm. Do you really? No. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> I was like, that that is that's <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> I, I figured you would you would start to get a little bit concerned at that. But yeah, no. I'm I am trying to remember on earth how where we left off in making these stupid rockets. Um well I know we needed a bit more um carbon. So I just went But we and... also need crystal? See, we don't, though, I don't think. Or if we do, I have it. Because if you look in this chest right here, maybe? I'm, try I'm just trying to fill these things up to get to the next layer of rockets. Did you grab the tier lost. 7? Um, oh, no, I didn't grab any tier 7s. Yeah, see, I made the tier 7 already. Oh. I have tier 6s in okay. my Yeah, inventory. I got 32 tier 7 right here. Oh, so we... That might be enough to make the rocket already. Then. I think so. I think we already have everything. I'm going to give you these right now. Okay. There, there they are. And then you let me, start, let you know, me know start making some rockets. What you need next? Like you work out the details, and I will. <laughs> the the deets. Yeah, the deets. I'll get the deets. So we got oh these tier sevens. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. And. So, what is your, what are you going to say? I'm just going to take them back. And, you know, luckily, whenever you know, he asked me if I wanted to receive. I would like an exchange because I happen to have some randomly, no big deal, moldy shoes. I mean, I'm not mad. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I feel bad for him. As long as he doesn't give me trouble when I bring him his moldy shoes back. We're good. And <laughs> Sorry, sir. All sales are final. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if he tries to say that, then I'll be upset. Then we'll have a, we'll have a problem. You'll hear about this again. <laughs> this the, we'll be revisiting this story at some point. Um, but I can't imagine that, right? If you sell moldy shoes, then you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he didn't yes, know. I don't think he knew. My my gut would also say that, but. But yeah, he asked me if I needed a receipt, and I started to say no, because I was like, why would I need a receipt for shoes I've tried on? They're, they're good, you know? I almost well, you said no. have a receipt? What if that guy like... No, no, I, 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 I started to say no. I, I took a... I got my receipt. I got my receipt. I did t I did get a receipt, but I started to oh, say no, because I just thought, we, I'd, who needs a receipt? We are one tier six plate short. Oh, uh, we have some of those over here, I think. Uh, I had all the ones that were in. Oh, unless they, yeah, the yeah. Here we go. I'll put them in this chest right here. Okay. There you go. We still might be some tier seven short, but I'm still counting. But that gives me all those. Well, we got crystal to make the tier seven if we are. So yeah, yeah it wasn't hope, the fantastic let's hope this story. Guy's or a good guy. Well, he's. I feel bad for him because he's got. I imagine he's got more than one pair of moldy shoes. Uh yes, one would definitely assume that there's more than one pair of moldy shoes, based on the fact that 
See, like the only pair that he sold so far is a moldy pair of shoes. Right, right. Like, I uh, mean, it's just like little spotches. Juice, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like if you had like an apple or an orange sitting on the counter, and it started to mold, and like you have like little colonies, like little little dots, and they're probably like like half the size of a dime, maybe. So uh, you're comparing the concept of shoe mold to apples molding. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, sh- shoes to apples, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, so we, need, we need one, two, three, four, five more tier seven plates, but I also need some straight up crystal play for. There's a lot of crystal. Eight in here. crystal plates. We got uh, three three stacks of crystal. Um, ah, okay, so we got those. So I just need some more tier seven. Oh wait. But you have the tier six, right? Can you make the tier seven? Uh, I Do you have should. extra tier six? I mean, I guess. Yeah, we have nineteen extra tier six, and I don't remember what the hell it needed for it. the the crystal. Yeah, it needs a crystal. So yeah, yeah, yeah we should be fine. It should be for the mag. This. Are there any updates on your uh, your drama? Huh? <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Not good updates. Maybe this isn't how you make things. Here's six in crystal, I thought is what it said. Yeah, it is. No. Oh, wait, no, it's compressed crystal. So you got to take that crystal and compress it further down. Oh, we got to recompress the crystal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Reinforced running. Reinforced crystal. Um, so basically, I wrote to the Dean of Nursing, who, and this is what upsets me about <laughs> when people try to use concepts. For and I understand her purpose, but they use it wrong. And this is, I think, this is a rampant problem in many industries. So I wrote to the dean of nursing, specifically saying, "Hey, look, I'm new to this. I've never published anything before. Is this normal for the university? Is this like approved by the university for you know professors to be getting on as authorship in these papers, especially in this particular class when it's a literature review versus actually a major research project where professors might be helping a lot more." So I wrote the the whole thing out. Her response was, I assume that you have not talked to your instructor about this yet and gave the instructor's name. And she's like, I suggest you start with her because here at Blah 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 University, we take, you know, pride in following the chain of command. Oh, I knew you were going to say the word chain of command. I knew it was just coming out of your mouth any second now. So, well, and it's because... But that's the problem. Is The problem is in your wrong. chain of the command. And that's how chain yeah. of command works. Whenever the problem lies inside the chain, you have to break the chain. Right. And that's the whole point is it's, it's just like I'm the shift officer in my fire department on my Monday night crew now because I moved over there to become the shift officer. If people have a problem with somebody else in the shift, they come to me. If people have a problem with me, you go to the person above me. Right. That's how the following the chain of command works. Yes, you can talk to the individual if you want to go that route. But it is for one, it's not a requirement. And for two, if it's a situation where I'm worried that this woman is doing something she's not allowed to be doing. So how is going to her about this? Right. Going to solve the, the problem. Right. So the whole point was to find out it wasn't even it wasn't to like get her in trouble and rat her out. It was literally asking about university policy from the School of Nursing for these type of situations because it doesn't make sense to me and told to go back and and i guarantee there's gonna be a lot of people in the youtube comments who are like no jeff that is following the chain of command because i bullshit i will and i understand that side of the argument as well but this is one of those cases where when the problem lies with that person in your chain of command you have every right to go to the next step in the chain of command i mean that, that, that to me this isn't this isn't open for debate that's just how chain of command works i've worked in plenty of jobs where you had to follow a chain of command and i i that is just how it works you cannot it's like a conflict of interest to go to the person that is in question <laughs> i know i i know and that's why i did things the route i did things in but apparently that's wrong. So, oh, so I wrote to this professor with basically oh, the the same email, and I, I even said in there I said I you know spoke with Doctor Blah 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 first because I was trying to figure out university policy related to this stuff. So I'm not hiding the fact that I talked to somebody else. Like it was never my intention to be all deceitful and deceptive. Right. There's and the compressed the whole... stuff, by the way. I put it in the same chest. Oh, okay. Um, I wrote the whole. Uh, thing out for her again as well and sent off the email and I included my partner on it who you know is the person that I wrote the paper with and she asked me like 
the day, the next day, she's like, oh, have you heard anything from her yet? Because I haven't seen anything. And I said, oh, I haven't even checked my email. I have, I have no idea. So then the next day, my partner writes me and says, oh, we got an email back. Oh, boy. And I was like, I was like, I don't even want to read this thing. And I'll be honest, I haven't read it yet. Oh, no, Jeff. Don't you do this to me. Oh, no, no. Well, I got I have enough information from my partner. Okay. Um, I was about to go read it. And she said, no wonder instructors have so many publications under them when it's bullshit like this was the next text message that she wrote me. So I know what was gleaned from. Oh, shoot, I should have made more than that. So I know what was gleaned from that. And I haven't even read it yet. I've been so angry that I just. I'm like, I don't know how you could it. not read it. I don't know how you are capable of not reading it. <laughs> I mean, because I, I, I'm mad. I know, but like, <laughs> I would have to know the it. wording so I could get more angry. <laughs> See, that's the thing is, I don't want to get more angry. I've been sick the last couple of days. I actually wasn't even at work the last two days. Um, so I just didn't want anything else to be like make me more mad. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, good and YouTube audience who wanted to. Know. Right, this is the fucking hiccups all over again. <laughs> that's what Jeff does to you guys. Uh, do you do this to your like, audience all the time? One day in silence, I'm going to read this thing and then never speak of it again. No, I'm going to keep bringing it up every <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday. How asking I? questions. How did you transfer? Oh, wait, was it from this thing? Oh, here we go. Never mind. I got it. Okay. I needed to transfer fuel again. and I couldn't remember how you did it. So, but I mean, but you, you understand enough from the story of what the rationale was. And I just, or no, excuse me, not the rationale, what the outcome so are what? you publishing this paper? I don't know. We're supposed to, like, make another... So whatever... I haven't even read her comments on the paper yet because I was so mad at the fact that she wanted author rights. There's no way in hell yet. I would publish this paper. Well, so, you know what's funny? I told... I was talking to my mother about this. You know, I said... You told me this, me. and your mom said not and, to fuck yourself over. Yeah, exactly. And I'm... But I'm in the same boat that you are, whereas I'm more on the concept of, well... I I don't want to I don't want to give her this extra ability an extra publication under her belt for something she didn't do. Yeah. And yes, I can understand the like people saying that that is going to hurt me in the long run and maybe it will maybe it won't, but I don't know, but that's where I'm still sitting at right now. I don't know what I want to do. So, can can you not publish it and not put her as the author? I see and that <laughs> That is the one thing that I could probably understand a little bit more if I read her email. If I would know... How can you have why? not read this email? That just bugs me. <laughs> uh, uh, because it, I don't know. It, just, it makes me... It made me angry. But I there might be... More, there might be... I want to get more angry. There might be something in there that is important. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucker. <sighs> Do you want me to load up my email? And Kinda. I was sitting here thinking, like, you know, no time like the present. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. Let's read this thing together. Oh, God. Watch it, watch it be completely, like, not. Watch it be like, no, of course you don't have to do Yeah, that. that's what it's going to say. It's going to say, like, I would prefer you to, but if you don't want to, that's fine. Let's see. It says, uh, thank you for your email and sharing your concerns regarding authorship with me. I'd like to reassure you that the responsibility for authorship he's with the first author but should be discussed amongst all authors well she ain't an author this means um also i would like to draw your attention to the quote from the icmje about criteria for authors which i relied on when i asked you to add my name to your paper but i agree that i should have discussed my suggestion with you in more detail the international committee of medical journal editors has indicated that in order to be considered a co-author the writer must meet the following criteria substantial contribution to the conception or design of the work or the acquisition analysis or interpretation of data for all work and drafting the work or revising it critically for important intellectual content and a final approval of the version to be published and agreement to be accountable for all aspects of the work and assuring the questions related to the accuracy or integrity but any part of the work are appropriately investigated and resolved at this point i oh i withdraw my suggestion for authorship about this paper which means i'll be unable to assist with further editing okay or in, uh, advisement and oh what a fucking shame 
<laughs> well, I mean, that's actually, I guess that's better news. Yeah, no, that is. That's, that's fantastic news. I mean, she's trying to sound like, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to help you anymore with all my comments, my wonderful, beautiful comments that have assisted you in such, such, such great links. But from what you've said, nothing that she's contributed was that anyways. So no, I mean, and what she did, like the, the, con the comments that she made, and I've never said it wasn't like when she gave suggestions, it was. It was very helpful. It was like proofreading, but it's the other group did the exact same thing. Right. You told me where I had miss, you know, sentences that could be restructured in a slightly better way. Like it's not like you gave me substantial content of any type. Um, so I, I'm actually I'm glad you made me read that because it is slightly different than. Yeah. Um, so you're publishing it, and her person. name's not on it, and she's That's just not going to give you any more advice. Yeah, which I don't know what other advice she would want to give me. But now the problem is I have her again next semester. Yeah. You done, you done <laughs> stoked the fire a little bit. So hope you don't need good grades in that class. Uh, yeah, I hope not too, because she's gonna be mad. <laughs> well, um, I just got this rocket. Yeah. Made. I don't have. Where's the landing pads? You had those. I don't know what you end up doing with them. You had those at one point. Check, check your bags of bags. <laughs> that's what, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh man, I had a bunch of that compressed reinforced in my bag. I just opened up my bag of bags. <laughs> well, where is? Whatever. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, interesting difference than I was under the impression of. But at the same time, it's one of those things that's written in a way to to make you feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, yeah. Questioning her. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just like, well, you don't have to do it, but I'm not, you've lost my help. On <laughs> a subject you know nothing about. <laughs> right, right. Well, and the funny thing is, she even said, like, that. now it makes no sense to read this email again because she's saying that she used this criteria. The criteria was that she proofread and suggested uh, altercations to your uh, publication. That's... But all these end with and. You have to do all four of them. Oh, and. Oh, it's, I didn't. They all end with, it's one, two, three, and four, and they all end with you do substantial contributions to the concept design. Blah blah blah, and drafting of the work, and final approval of version for to be published, and agreement, uh, the accountability for aspects of the work, ensuring that all the work was appropriately investigated, resolved, etc. Like all those, you have to do all of them. I guess in her mind, she did do the last one. Which one did she not do? Then I, I... I have to read these really in detail to find out. Yeah. I mean, so I get you could take this in two ways at a quick glance, and either she did do all of them, but so did the other groups that proofread them. Yeah. Well, or, they're not taking accountability for the content to be accurate. But she's not doing that either. Right. She's just saying that she is. But I if, mean, she would be taking accountability for it if she had us put her name on it, but she right. didn't research it to know. Right. Right. It she's assuming that you did. Bads. She's taking the risk that you did do the research, basically. Yeah. Blocks of iron and compressed iron. I'm going to have to make more of these things. Oh, no, it's just, uh, I get so frustrated with, like, bullshit. Because now it's just like I have to deal with you again for more classes, and now it is going to be one of those things where you're probably going to be, you know, taking it out on me on a very, you know, secretive, hidden way that nobody could prove. Like, that's the problem you get into with things like that. And the worst part is, even if she... Even if you, so now there's going to be some kind of confirmation bias on your end to pro, more than likely if you even if if something you you didn't do well you're going to assume that you're being treated unfairly, right? And it could just be that I write write a shitty paper, or right? A shitty assignment next right. semester. <laughs> yes, it, there definitely will be that type of bias, unfortunately, um, because now that's the situation that we have made. By, I think, rightfully questioning. Is this off? The uh, launch controller? Uh, it should be. It, always, it has been. Because didn't you turn the launch controller actually off? Uh, that one's yours. This disabled. It says okay. disabled. Okay. We're out of time. So I guess the next episode you'll be taking off. Uh, yeah, remember, you find out how to get them back, though, too. That's true. I need to go. I need to make sure I get a... Yeah, we gotta My get jetpack our... filled between episodes here. And that fuel efficiency was the best thing I ever did. <laughs> you and your yeah, it's great. Just here. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys next time. All right, see you.